You want to put yourself in the rubbish as well while you're at it. My head. You mad? Hi. Yeah. You are weirdo. Uh, Leo. This woman, bro. If I want anything. Uh, a different kind of intro, people. You get me? What's going on, people? Troop TV. Back again. Um. Firstly, happy birthday to my little man, you get me, um, seven today. The wife's just gone out to get a few bits. Um, I've got to pick them up from school. But literally just had my lunch and the news has come out that um, the Premier League was initially uh, supposed to be suspended until April the 5th. But um, the FA and the Premier League have come out today and said that they are uh, extending the suspension to April 30th. So there will be no English football due to this coronavirus outbreak until at least April 30th. So it's looking like um, they're gonna complete the league, you understand, which I think is good. Um, I think for Liverpool to win the league, the league has to be complete, you understand. I see that um, that clip, I was actually watching it live on Sky, on Sky Sports News um, when Darmish was on there. And he was having a debate with um, Kavek, uh, Brian Swanson and a young lady, the presenter, I don't know her name. Uh, but they were having a debate about should the Premier League be null, void, uh, suspended and then played behind closed doors? Or do you suspend it, push it back to a later date and then play the games when the coronavirus is at less, less risk? And um, Darmesh was saying that, yo, you can't just cancel the league and just give it to Liverpool because they're 25 points clear, you understand? Which I totally agreed with because fair dues, Liverpool are 25 points clear. They are going to win the league, but they haven't won it yet, you understand? As it stands, they're first. They're not champions, you understand? You know, you, you, get, you feel me? They have to get to a certain point where City can't catch them. It's still, it's still possible for City to catch them. Even though we all know City ain't going to catch them, mathematically, it is still possible for City to catch them. So you can't, you can't just award um, Liverpool the league like that. Um, the teams in a relegation battle, obviously, um, I think Villa um, have a game in hand. And if they just cancelled it now and Villa got relegated, um, they're going to complain because they're going to say like, well, if we won our game in hand, we could have jumped above the team in, in 17, which I think is Bournemouth or West Ham. I'm not too sure. But you understand, there's a lot of trials and tribulations. There's a lot of teams where, 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 where it's affecting the, the, um, the race for Champions League. We've got a game in hand. We could jump up to a certain a certain place where you understand. Like it's it's mad, bro. Yeah, I mean, um, the young lady was saying about um, take away a game. Uh, are you mad? To take away. A... This is what I'm saying. You don't have a clue, man. You understand? You should have been. Obviously, no one knew coronavirus was going to happen. You get me the way it happened. You understand? But when when disasters happen in life. Sport should be prepared for, for these things, you understand? This is this, this how life is, bro, you get me? This, this, this is how shit goes, you understand? Sometimes shit goes hella left, blood, you get me? It's gone mad left right now, you understand? But everyone's on ropes, you get me? But like I said, the, um, the Premier League will not return until April 30th at the earliest. Um, what they've said is English football will not return until April 30th at the earliest. This is on Sky Sports. Um, it has been decided at an emergency meeting between Premier League clubs, but the 2019-20 season will be extended indefinitely. Like I said, they're looking to finish the league, which is which is good to see. Uh, they go on to say, officials from all 20 English top flight clubs spoke over a conference call on Thursday morning to coordinate a strategy for completing the fixture list in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic, which has led to the suspension of all of almost all sport. It has been decided that the Premier League, the EFL and the women's football, um, the, uh, the WSL, sorry, but they've put women's football, will continue to be suspended until April 30th at the earliest. The deadline for returning to action has also been extended indefinitely as part of an agreement with the FA. A statement after the meeting published by the Premier League said, the FA, Premier League, EFL and women's professional game, together with the PFA and LMA, understand we are in unprecedented times and our thoughts are with everyone affected by COVID-19. We are united in our commitment to finding ways of resuming the 2019-20 football season and ensuring all domestic and European club league 
and cup matches are played as soon as it is safe and possible to do so. We have collectively supported UEFA in postponing Euro 2020 to create space in the calendar, in, in the calendar sorry, to ensure domestic and European club league and cup matches have been increased, have an increase, have an increased opportunity to be played, and in doing so, uh, maintain the integrity of each competition. Uh, they go on to say, uh, the FA rules and regulations state that the season shall terminate not later than uh, June the 1st and each competition shall within the limit la uh, laid down by the FA determine the length of its own playing season. However, the FA's board has agreed for this limit to be extended indefinitely for the 2019-20 season in relation to professional football. Additionally, we have collectively agreed that the professional game in England will be further postponed until no earlier than April 30th. Um, Brian Swanson, chief reporter, um, he has said, uh, the further suspension of English football is no surprise. The game cannot continue as the coronavirus pandemic spreads. The significance of today is the decision of the FA board and their agreement to extend indefinitely the time limit to the end of the season. Under the FA's rules and regulations, the season shall terminate not later than June 1st. Officials have agreed not to enforce this date. Um, in summary, football has given itself time in extraordinary circumstances. This is a clear determination to finish the season before considering the start of next season. The progress of COVID-19 remains unclear, said um, a joint statement, but the English game is attempting to bring a degree of clarity in a hugely volatile and unprecedented uh, Excuse me, an unpredictable landscape. Um, a revised assumption at the end of April remains um, ambitious and in all likelihood it will change again in a few weeks. So they're saying that this this how it is now at April 30th, it's looking like it's gonna it's gonna get pushed back even further when it comes to April 30th. Um, European football has committed to finish their competitions, including the Premier League, by June 30th. Uh, but the date remains flexible, particularly, uh, particularly if a FA, sorry, if a FIFA working group agrees to relax the rules on player contracts and resignations. Because obviously, when you get into them time there, players could be playing out of contract. You get me? So they're gonna have to sort that out. Uh, managers as well, obviously resignations and thing. People could be wanting to leave it at the end of the season in May. This is all gonna go up in the air at the moment. Uh, they go on to say there remains a fluid environment with plenty of options and ideas. Clubs will continue talks next week, but football remains second to public health. I totally agree. Um, in their words, the English game would like to re-emphasise our thoughts are with everyone affected by COVID-19. So, oh, we've got a bit more. Um, they're taking these measures. Uh, they're taking these measures to buy more time so they can continue to monitor the situation. But it was a significant first step today. The first uh, get together of clubs since the postponement of Euro 2020, which has provided a window. There is a collective desire to finish the season. Clubs will continue to work towards that and talk about that at the situation as the situation progresses. So as it stands, um, April 30th, we're going to get back and we're looking to end uh, the football season by June 30th. Um, it's looking like they might push it back when they come when they come, when it comes to um, April thirtieth, because no one really knows how how this thing's gonna go. You get me? They're saying when it comes to summertime, it's more it's more easy to contain. It's it's less about because obviously summer there's not a lot of flu, uh, flus. Obviously now it's cold and whatnot, so it's it's liable to be about in it. But yeah, man, um, the news that we've all been waiting on. Um, the Premier League, English football on a whole, including the women's football game, um, has been postponed until April 30th. So, yeah. Um, it's, it's mad, bro. You get me? Like, I, I don't know what to do, blood. Like, I'm just sitting there waiting to pick up the kids. Like, it's nothing, there's nothing to do, bro. She's gone out to get a few bits. Like, I don't know, man. You get me? Like, they, they, they need to find something to sort this thing. They need to find... You understand a vaccine or something blood you understand because this thing is spreading like wildfire fam you get me it's spreading like wildfire like and it's a serious thing bro you get me and no football again it's just peak blood you get me we literally we're living like decat right now you understand if you know decat i've been on decat i know a couple of men that have done decat 
and then this is that like decap blood, you understand? It's literally self self isolation blood, you understand? Quarantine fam, shout out Max B blood, free Max blood, you understand? Like it's mad bro. Like it's mad G. It's actually mad. It's actually mad. But yeah man, um you lot stay safe. Um I'll keep you updated on anything else that goes down. I'm gonna drop a few videos as well. I'm gonna keep you lot entertained, you get me? Um we're gonna do a few um videos. Uh, I'm not gonna let out any ideas, you feel me, because you gotta watch out. You feel me? You gotta watch your back in them streets, man. In them YouTube streets. You gotta watch your back. But yeah, man, man will be back again real soon, you get me? But yeah, man, for now, stay clean. Wash them hands, sanitize, you get me? Wear gloves, whatever. But at the most, you get me? The most important thing is stay safe, blood. And subscribe to Troops TV.